Hello, my name is Paul DeWinner with AEA Technology, and today we're going to be talking about the BIA Echo. There are several models of it. It's a network analyzer, handheld, goes from 4 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. And we're going to cover uh, the different features of it in these segments, so you can choose which segment you wish to uh, view. In this segment, we're going to talk about AEA Technologies VIA Echo instrument settings. This applies to all models, the Echo 1000, 1000SF, and the Model 2500. And the F1 menu, when pressed for the first time, will give you a list of what is behind the menus on F2 through F5 keys, so if you need to locate something quickly. Press F1 a second time, and there's actually a notepad in there where you can enter some notes. And press Enter to return to the main menu or to the measurement screen. The F2 menu controls the uh, backlight timer, the backlight brightness, the contrast. Contrast needs to be adjusted for temperature, higher numbers for colder temperatures and lower numbers for warmer temperatures to have the best. There's key beep control. There's also a uh, video inversion uh, on this menu uh, where you can change the video from uh, a light background with dark letters to a dark background with light letters. And there's uh, audio mode and audio volume. The F4 menu starts off with filters. There are different kinds of filters you can use to uh, clean up the uh, display. There is a third, what's called a third cursor measurement. Uh, this is that digital measurement on the vector impedance analyzer mode that appears at the bottom of the LCD. And you can select any of the, uh, the measurements uh, from SWR through uh, gamma. There's a battery menu in here, and I will come down to the battery menu and select it for you. And again, use the scale key for down and use the right arrow key to enter on the menu. And when the battery menu comes up, it will tell you if battery saver is on or off. Turned on, it will turn the instrument off automatically if you do not touch a key in five minutes just to save batteries. Uh, there is also a battery type in here It says set for nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, which means the charger is active. You can also set it for alkaline batteries or none and turn the charger off. And the size of the, the rechargeable batteries and the number of hours you have remaining on, uh, on battery life, as well as some other charger information. And pressing enter twice will exit that menu. 